This is 14-1, graphing quadratic of functions. This is actually a continuation of the last problem, x equals or y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. And we already knew that the axis of symmetry was at x equals 2. And I kind of usually just make a scratchy, squiggly line. I also know that my vertex was at 2 comma 1. Okay. I also know that because the leading coefficient of the x squared is a positive, I know that it's going to be a, a maximum. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I need to find one point, reflect it, and sketch the graph. So when I have my one point, one of the points that I'm always interested in is in the y-intercept. And remember, all y-intercepts are zero, or zero for the x in a number. So I'm going to do y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my 0 for my, x, for my x's. The other thing, 0 has so many properties of making things disappear. It's nice. So I'm going to plug in 0. And I get y equals 5. So my point is 0, 5. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. The other thing is, is so I know it's a u. And it's 2 off the axis of symmetry which means it's also going to be two more off the axis of symmetry. So there is the sketch of my graph. And the nice thing is, is I know my axis of symmetry. I know my y-intercept. Um, I actually know that there are no solutions because it doesn't pass the x-axis. Okay. Next one. y equals negative x plus, or squared plus 2x minus 1. Axis of symmetry, x equals opposite of b over 2a. Here's my a, here's my b, here's my c. Opposite of 2 over neg 2 times negative 1, which becomes negative 2 over negative 2, which becomes negative 1. Whoops, which becomes positive 1. Sorry. Whew, integer operation still kicking me. Okay, so I have the axis at x equals 1. Remember, it is a vertical line, undefined slope. It's actually a vux. I just kind of squiggle it in, scribble it in. Um, you'll see most of them, they have like uh, dashed lines to show the um, axis of symmetry. To find the vertex, I already have the x value because of the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to use my x value to find my y. y equals... Parentheses are your friends because your calculator does not know how to do some of this. And notice that negative from here is coming outside because I'm substituting in parentheses. So I have negative 1 plus 2 minus 1. Negative 1 and negative 1 is negative 2. That is 0. Y equals 0. So at 1, 0, 1, 0, and so my axis of symmetry is actually my vertex, okay? It's always going to be on my vertex, and then I'm going to find one point, and I'm going to let... Uh, Again, I like the y-intercept, 0 and a number. I like the y-intercept. It gives me a lot of information. And so I'm going to do y equals negative 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 1. It also is nice because a lot of things just disappear. So y equals negative 1. So I have a point right here and right here because this is 1 off and this is 1 off. And so there's the axis of symmetry because the axis of symmetry says however far you are from the axis of symmetry you're also that far on the other side now the other thing notice that this guy was a u with a minimum and this leading coefficient was positive notice this is y equals a negative x squared plus 2x minus 1 and this is a 
um, negative, and here you go, negative coefficients make you sad, and so it, I always called it a frown, but it has a maximum, and so you can look at quadratic equations and automatically know whether they're going to be minimums or maximums. Um, on your uh, assignment, you're going to have to find the vertex one point, reflect it, and sketch the graph. I prefer you find the y-intercept just because it's so helpful and it gives you so much information. And that is 14-1, graphing quadratics.